the cast and crew and producers of Going Vertical, an opening night documentary on the shortboard revolution. I'm here with the director and slash co-producer, Leah Wright. Leah, tell me where you got the idea for this film. Um, well, the, the idea from the film came from Bob McTavish, who's over here, and Bob, Bob's, our, Bob's an Australian uh, board shaper, and in the late 60s he designed a really short board, I and then at you. the same time in Hawaii, Dick Grewal was doing it I'm in the California. big wave designer and builder. Mike Kingston was doing it, <laughs> and then Pete Townend. I was a product of it. I became the first world pro champion on the short board. So it's kind of a, you know, a, a huge effort between a group of people that created you know, a piece of history. So the story basically came from what happened in that 12 months when really long boards went short and it allowed boards to go vertical in the face of a wave for the first time. Which spawned the you know, big boom in skateboarding and wakeboarding and snowboarding. It all stemmed from what the changes that we brought into surfing uh, the whole echoed world. down through all those sports. That's true. Yeah. Okay, and you're, you're the designer of the shortboard. Where did you... Well, they or, all are. Well, you all are. are. Okay. In different countries. Well, where did you guys get this idea of, like, I designing mean, a shortage there surfing? Was a, there was a need. And uh, I had a dream. I think my Dick did. I had a physical dream where I could see myself surfing like this. And so I set out to make a board that would do that. And he did. Yeah. So. I, we added all the bits. This guy developed the nice the templates. This guy developed a rail shape that allowed the board to go really fast. So all this three guy of us got contributed. Really little. Yeah, we all contributed, you know. But our stories come together in the film after a fair bit of conflict and stuff. It leads to a beautiful resolution in the end between the three of us. And okay. so we wrapped it up into a beautiful documentary with amazing music, gorgeous archival footage, beautiful old stills, lots of like current surfing. And Great scenics. Yeah, yeah, it's beautiful, beautiful. And lots of humour. It's a very funny film too. And maybe a tear or two. <laughs> and this film is perfect for Orange County. Yeah, yeah. And um, so what was it like working on the film? Uh, it was long. It was hard. It was like, you know, we, we did a lot of shooting in America, so there were a lot of 24-hour days because we were kind of, you know, having to stay awake all night to do the daytimes in the U.S. Yeah. Lots of archival research, a lot of that, a lot of clearances, etc. I had to go surfing all the time. It was terrible. Yeah, Bob had to keep surfing. <laughs> You'd have a lot of board meetings. You know, like... yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I take it that's not the first time you've used that joke. No, I've before. <laughs> okay, and now uh, a couple, of, just two more questions before you go. Um, what's next for for the film? Uh, well, this is our U.S. premiere, our festival premiere, so we're heading for a release next year, 2011, probably into summer, theatrical, and that'll go out into the U.S., and then we'll start heading, heading into the other territories around the world. And then for you, Leah, are you involved with any other projects after this? Yeah, we have a slate of about nine or ten different feature films back in Australia. Um, we have some dramas, we have a lot of children's animation that we're about to, we're about to go into production on. Um, next year we have two, two animated feature films for children. Um, yeah, so we have a big slate. We're busy. Busy. Right. Yeah. 